Today we're going to take a look at Exchange Core. Now Exchange Core serves to move information between Web EOC, the Cal EOC implementation of it, ArcGIS Online is our principal look. We'll also see how that same data is exposed for use in Google Earth and the mobile app Spot On Response. And then from other applications back into Web EOC. These are the Cal EOC boards, and let's start out with pool status. We begin by looking at some existing information that is in Cal EOC. School status information, Magnolia School, is currently closed. If we come over here, we see a couple of school icons, and here we find the Magnolia Elementary School currently closed. We see as well that we have a mission tasking at the coordinating stage, federal request numbers, all the information that's associated with this mission request. Come over here to the mission request. What I have is that mission request with the information. This is a debris management tasking that's taking place right here. The third of the boards that we have implemented is the shelter board. So let's add some shelter information here. I've got an operational area, which is going to be Los Angeles, and we're going to speed up this. We've added another application that is provided here, and we see those shelters, three of them open. This one probably being that West Adams Preparatory School, West Adams Preparatory School, and over here under Shelters, the newest one added was West Adams Preparatory School. So we're out in the field. We're observing a uh, critical infrastructure problem. And we see that there are train off tracks with hazardous materials placard. We see that's location there on South Santa Fe Avenue. I've now submitted it from this other application. It's now making its way to Exchange Core. We see HF showing on that placard, which means that it has made it through Exchange Core. It's now part of the activity log. Google Earth has all of the same information that we've been looking at. There is your LA Mission Shelter. Here's your mission coordinating location. Here's the schools closed, the Lyle High School. So Exchange Corps sits between Cal EOC, ArcGIS Online, supports Google Earth, as well as other applications like the Spot On Response mobile app. All this has been made possible by the efforts of the California Earthquake Clearinghouse and the contract between Cal OES and Spot On Response. For any further information on this project, please contact Jim Morantz.